is good yt what the fuck is going down it is barry guap and i am back with another video bitches if you guys like the videos like this hit that notification bell on my left hand side your right hand side your right hand side my left hand side whatever side is going bitch hit that notification bell so you can know every time i bet i bitch like walk post hello if you guys like videos like this hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe so you be motherfucking subscribe hit all so you be notified every time a badass bitch like i post like i said before hello and get into this gig bitches this is gonna be why i hate leos i know i look a little flat right now i look a little ghost look like casper's hood nigga best friend Baby girl, ignore that, because she's about to uh, add to it, make a bitch look like a bad bitch, hello, okay? So, we're just about to just jump in. Yes, so this right here is going to be about why I hate Leos, so let's just talk about it. The days of Leos is July 23rd through August 22nd, and let's talk about the Leos that I have in my life. Like, I have a couple of Leos in my life. My little brother's a Leo, no, my big brother's a Leo, my cousin's a Leo, my grandma, and my aunt. And I talked to two, two dudes that were Leos, and I talked to two dudes that was Leos. So I'm I'm used to, you know, Leos, okay, sadly. Like I I know what they do, I know how they perform. We're going with espresso. The uh, contour, baby. Okay. So back to the story about Leos. So I know a few Leos. Um my ex is a Leo. He's not really my ex, but we used to conversate like really heavy. And he calls me his baby mom, so I call him my ex. Like he's not really like an ex. But the dates are July twenty second, July twenty third through August twenty second, and their element is fire. Their quality is fixed. Their colors are gold, orange, and yellow. The day that they favor the most is Sunday. The their ruler is the sun. The race overall compatibility is Aquarius and Gemini, and I totally believe that because both Aquarius and Gemini are both off their fucking rocker, just like fucking Leo. They're awesome fucking manipulative ass fucking liars, and all they want to do is lie about everything that they do, bitch. Just put it on the front for everybody and every the fuck thing. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. That's not even the lifestyle that you live, bitch. Don't act like that, because, bitch, I know the real you. And, bitch, I'll tell everybody the real you. Hello? So yeah, let's just get into this gig. If you guys like videos like this, hit the notification bell, thumbs up this video if you made this far, hello. And let's just get into this gig. I hope you guys don't mind me doing my makeup, beat my face while I do this. So yeah, okay, let's just take it back. So let's talk about their strengths. Their strengths are they're creative, they're passionate, they're generous, warm hearted, cheerful, and humorous. Their weaknesses are they're arrogant, stubborn, self-centered, lazy, and inflexible. They're very inflexible. Because, like, they will plan to do something, and then, like, they'll plan to do something with somebody else, and then they'll plan to do something with somebody else, and then they'll plan to do something with somebody else, and then they'll be able, they won't be able to make all them plans, because you can't do everything at once, sir. You can't do everything at once. That just isn't how life works, poo. Like, you can't do everything at once, so. They have a problem with balancing their lifestyles and what they want to do, because they always want to be everywhere, doing everything, being seen, doing everything at once. We're going to go to the store, my Sierra palette. Um, I got this from my ex-boyfriend's mother when we were still together, so... It's probably, about to get, it's probably time to get a new one, for real, for real, because that was a while ago. But, yeah, like, I just feel like they always lying. They always lying, honey. If you know a lying-ass Leo, bitch, comment down below, because I know we all know some lying-ass Leos. Like, my aunt, she used to just lie to me. She was about the game systems, this, that, and the third. That's what, my, she's the reason why, like, I don't trust people. Um, So, like, for, like, to give me stuff, because, like, she's one of the reasons. Because, like, she always told me, I would do this for you, do that for you, and it never happened. So I just stopped believing what people said. Um, what else? They are very vindictive. They're hoes. Definitely hoes. I mean, I feel like every city has signs of hoe, though. It just depends. But I know that the males are definitely hoes. Like, oh my goodness. All they want to do is have sex. Like, let's talk. Let me tell you about the story. So, it was my ex boyfriend, right? He's a Taurus. And they're hoes, too. But he's a Taurus. And he used to just, you know, tell me about how he's talked to this one Leo. And I never thought nothing about it. Because I talked to Leo, too. So, he was like, yeah, I talked to this one dude named, what's I call him? Ty. So, he's like, I just talked to this boy named Ty, and he's a Leo, and this, that, and I'm like, oh, for real? Like, but we never really went to death about it. Like, we were cool, but we never, like, really talked about like, what happened. So, he, I ended up linking with this one boy one day, right? 
and I never so it was it was I was it was Ty. <laughs> I ended up looking with this one boy one day and um we're gonna call him Rue. Rue called me and he's like, What you doing? I'm like, I'm about to link with this one boy. He like, who? I'm like, Ty, he like, I know him, why you talk to him? I'm like, really? So at that point in time, I'm like, alright, I gotta block this nigga because I feel like everybody knows who my exes are in Columbus and if you try to talk to me and my exes, like I just if you know me, you know that that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate when people do that. Like, that's just so nasty and weird to me. Like, you, you can't talk to me and my ex-boyfriend, bro. Like, that's just not going to work. It's not going to work. So, I'm like, all right, bet. So, I blocked. I blocked Ty. And Ty, <laughs> they hate being ignored. I can tell you that for a fact. They, Leo's, oh, they hate being ignored. Rue told me that they used to talk, and I blocked them. And this is how I found out that Ty hate being ignored. Because I had blocked them, and... I have blocked them before, previous and previous, and it's like previous things, because you know I'm always blocking that nigga, because niggas piss me off, and once you piss me off, I block you. Um, I might unblock you, but I, I will definitely block you, quick as hell. And so, I'm trying to get out of that, because that's childish, but like, that's just how I am. So, yeah, like, me and Ty were supposed to link or whatever that day. When Rue called me, it was over. Like, I'm like, I'm not talking to this nigga no more. So, I end up blocking, I end up blocking Ty. Ty hits me up on Instagram, Facebook, Nigga made a fake motherfucking text text finger account texting me. It's about why you blocked me, why you acting like that, what happened? And I'm like, you try to talk to my ex. I'm like, you try to talk to my ex? And he's like, who's your ex? And I'm like, we can talk about this later. Like, he like, all right, bet. Like, when you want to talk? I'm like, all right, we can talk whenever. Like, just hit me up when you get off work. And he like, all right, bet. I'm going to hit your phone when I get off work. I'm like, all right, bet. So he goes to work or whatever. And he's at work all day. And, like, at nighttime, he hit me up, like, you still trying to tie that conversation? Because, you know, like, I'm, I'm really, like, genuinely trying to figure out, like, what's going on. Like, why you blocked me and shit. And I'm like, and we can have a conversation. Like, that's cool. Like, if you want to have that conversation, we can. So, we end up linking or whatever. And we in the car talking. And he's like, like, what's going on? Like, I'm like, you should try to talk to my ex. He was like, who's your ex? And I'm like, like, blah, they skip. Like, I told him who his name was. And he like, that name sound familiar. He like, I've never talked to that, that person, though. I'm like, really? Like, he said, yeah, you should talk, you should, you should talk to him. He was like, no, never. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And he was like, nah. He was like, what's his Instagram name? So I gave him his Instagram name. His Instagram name. And he was like, all right, hold on. So he pop he pulled up the screenshots of my ex-boyfriend trying to talk to him. I'm like, oh, hell no. Like, I don't care about that, but don't lie to kick it. But I mean, you ain't got to lie to kick it. You know, like, you ain't got to lie about no shit like that. So that happened or whatever. And... <laughs> I'm like, all right, bet. So say less. So I just found out, like, and I'm asking, like, why? I was like, why? So why didn't you lie about the situation? Because you know, I'm used to Leo's being liars, like, because like I said, my aunt's a liar, my grandma was a liar, my fucking brother was a liar, my cousin's a liar. Like, I'm just used to, you know, liars. So I'm like, why didn't you lie about the situation? Like, why didn't you, you know, lie about it? And he was like, because like he was like, I've been fucking with you for too long for me to lie to you. I give way too many fucks about you to to just, just lie lie to you about some nigga that I don't even talk to for real. He was like, and that nigga was pressed to even talk to me, and I'm like, hmm messy this is just messy messy the fuck boots honey i'm like this is just messy the fuck house so i found out that like and he, he told me like don't you ever block me again like because i'll pop up at your house and i'm like okay yes sir <laughs> but they hate being ignored they hate having their face reality like when people tell them what shit is like they don't like shit like that like they don't like when bitches keep it 100 with them like they want somebody to lie to them or sugarcoat them like that's why i can't fuck with them because bitch i'm gonna keep it 100 with you at all all point in times at all costs because i don't like people lying to me so i'd rather you just keep it 100 with me you feel me so, he 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 got over it. He was he was more so mad at the other dude for saying that he used to talk to him than mad at me for blocking him. Cause he's like, I mean, I understand. I'm like, would you have blocked me too? He, he, like, would you have blocked me too? For the situation? He's like, I probably would have, honestly, cause that shit's weird. I'm like, you feel me? Like that shit's just weird. And in the gay community, that shit's real normal. Like, a motherfucker will talk to you and your ex boyfriend. I'm not having that. Like, I just have too many. I, I care too much that to then to just be talking to my ex-boyfriend or my ex-boyfriend's exes like that's just weird to me they hate not being treated like a king or queen like they hate when motherfuckers act like they not just like the top dog you know what i mean like they hate when people do that to them like they always want to be the center of attention they always want to be the main motherfucker like they want to be the it girl out of the group you know what i mean it's just like sometimes it's like girl baby girl you're not you're not it <laughs> you're not it baby girl so you can't be the it girl if you're not it you know what i mean but I feel like some Leos are motherfucking evil as fuck. Like, my brother, he's evil. Like, he'll lie to bitches, treat them so bad. Like, 
And I just be like, like, what is wrong with you? Like, nobody raised you like this. <laughs> like, it just depends on what kind you get. Because, baby girl, I know for a fact, some Leos are, they like to put their hands on you. Um, some Leos like to motherfucking threaten you and your family. Some Leos like to motherfucking just talk shit all the fucking time because they feel like they can fight when they, in all reality they really can't. <laughs> in all reality they really can't. So it's like, girl, baby girl, calm down. Um, it just depends on what kind of Leo you get. I know that the female Leos, oh, baby girl, they're fucking crazy as hell. Like, it was this one female Leo, like, she used to flatten tires. My aunt, she's crazy as fuck, too. She flattens tires, too. Like, females, Leos, they're kind of off. Like, I would I would not advise that for, you know, nobody. <laughs> I wouldn't advise that for anyone, because, you know, you might have to end up killing that bitch. And that's just that on that, boo. Um, as far as, okay, now we're going with this eyeshadow palette. Um, oh, no, wait. I'm going to take this. NYX eyeshadow base. Put this over the lids. We're gonna go in with this eyeshadow. So yeah, it was my aunt, like she used to bust tires out. It's just a few like that's like crazy as fuck. Like the females, oh, they don't play that shit. The males don't either, but they're more like pull guns out on you. <laughs> risking risking your fucking livelihood. Want to fucking trap, like, you know, like just ghetto as hell. I feel like some are more educated than others because I know a few educated Leos um, that are just, you know, classy. But I more so know the hood rat ones. <laughs> the hood rat ones, I definitely know. I know them like the back of my hand because them motherfuckers be out here. Um, I feel like my brother, he's he's just like a liar. He's a big manipulator, a big liar. He'll tell you a story and have your ass believing it, thinking you was there and shit. And they'd be like, nigga, no, that, that shit never happened. Like, you know, they are very good storytellers. They will tell a fuck out of the story. You will believe everything that they say. That I know that for a fact because baby girl, my brother used to trick me all the time, telling me shit. Like, okay. Like, I used to really fall for his shit. Like... My dumb ass. Go with this eyeshadow palette. Let me take this dark brown shade. Put that on that outer V. On each side. To deepen up that crease, baby. Or deepen up that outer V. Back in with that. From the other brush. Blend. Yeah, because I don't play that that blend. So, yeah, I just feel like Leos are fucking hoes. Like, they're hoes. All they want to do is have sex. All they want to do is bump and hump, honey. That's all they want to do is bump and hump. And they don't know how to be loyal. They don't know how to keep it real. They don't like people telling them the truth. They're, I'm not, this isn't, like, about what, like, they're good at. So, <laughs> I don't care. But I just feel like some Leos are better than other Leos. Like, it's, you always going to find, like, the, the good one out the bunch if you're lucky. But... For the most part, oh no, bitch, they're fucking sluts. Like, fucking known sluts at that. Like, not they're not the type of person to get in a relationship with. I can tell you that. Because <laughs> they done been and ran through the whole city, baby. Ran through the, they done been through, ran through the bottom of the city, or they done ran the whole city through. You know what I mean? Like, they are not the niggas to want to settle down with. But I know that they are very, 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 very insecure. Very insecure. They get mad when people tell them about themselves. They get mad about anybody thinking that they are better than them can't take criticism they feel like everybody's talking about them or judging them or trying to talk down on them when i'm just trying to tell you what i feel and you can't take an opinion you can't take criticism like they can't take criticism for shit they feel like everybody's out to get them and that's a fact and i ain't even gotta lie about that like they always think somebody to get them baby girl you're not even that important <laughs> talk about i'm trying to get you girl so yeah watch out for that go back in with this palette I feel like they need security from other people to let them know like, that they're doing something. Like They always need other people's opinions and other people's 
outputs to make them feel like they're doing something, they need to be validated by somebody else to make sure that they're doing something. You know what I mean? They can never just go out there on their own and feel like they're doing something important. They need some other input. Usually from someone who's important, but if they ain't got nobody important in their life, they'll settle. Trust me. I've seen it happen. I've definitely seen it happen. But yeah, I just feel like if you're going to talk to a Leo, be prepared for them being fucking hoes and wanting to fuck the whole city. And if they fuck one of your exes, bitch, don't be surprised. Because, baby girl. That's especially how it would be in the gay community, baby girl. And you can't even get mad at it. You gotta respect it. Move on. Either talk to them or don't. Like, it is what it is. But nevertheless, if you guys like videos like this, thumbs up this video. Hit that notification bell so you be notified every time a badass bitch like I post. And I'll see you bitches in my next one. I love you guys. Peace.